All right, so on this side, this is a Texas chert arrowhead to split up the groups. Um, just plain raw Texas chert in the middle. Um, on the left is Canadian Onondaga. Um, this was sent to me by Ontario Rockhound, and I napped quite a few things from it, but this is all I have uh, available to show at the moment. Um, it has white limestone banding with a blue-gray chert. Um, it is kind of hard to nap. Most of the Onondaga New York stuff is kind of hard to nap. Um, some pieces nap really well. Other pieces not so much. And I'm just going to show these. You can see the limestone in the base there. And this stuff is, um, it is pretty sharp. Pretty sharp and pretty easy to flake. And, uh, slightly glossy. Um, a lot of these I put in an acid bath to bring out that limestone so you could see where it is. You can't really see that limestone when you start napping it until after you put it in the acid. It's got a really pure vein running right through the center here. <clears throat> This one, um, I kind of messed up on, so I just kind of made it a little drill thingy. But the reason I messed up on it, I didn't re I didn't realize what was going on until after the acid bath, and you see how much limestone is in that. And the pieces I had to work with um, after I busted it all apart weren't very big. I did get two nice big blades out of it. One of them went to the Mohegans, and the other one I sold. Okay, so to the left of the Texas chert, Canadian Onondaga chert. To the right is New York Onondaga chert. The very little that I found, um, it seems to be glossier in most cases. Um, it has different fossils, and the limestone does not come out as much. There's a little bit right there. Um, it's kind of hard to thin this stuff. A lot of it is um, damaged, freeze damaged. This one I did out of a uh, flake from a really crummy piece um, on one of my most recent shorts. I just did it real fast with indirect. This was one of the tougher pieces. Um, it kind of looked like that to begin with. Not so friendly. You can you could compare here like high quality New York to low quality. Um, this is also extremely low quality. Like look at that. That's terrible. Um some of them made some really nice little points with very little limestone deposits, very little defects, but I was only able to get these little bird points like that. This one has a lot of limestone. If you compare the two, these, these are from the same general area. This one has like no limestone and this one's almost all limestone. And then the most uh, pure New York that I found made into a little Dalton thingy. It was uh, not very agreeable. Extremely tough to flake. As compared to like a, um, a Texas chart, uh, much easier to shape and thin and notch. And I mean, this is like... I don't even know what I'm napping there, really. But I was excited to test the uh, New York Onondaga um, versus the 
Canadian Onondaga, and in between these areas, there's also Isopus. It's a shale flint, and this stuff I really, really like. Um, I don't have many examples right now, but you can see uh, I threw some acid on this too, and you can see those little deposits in there. But this stuff, uh, way easier to shape, much sharper than both of these. But this thing, these things explode on contact, whereas these don't. So if you're firing with this, it's likely to break. You fire with these, not so much. Uh, what else I got? Uh, I have some Norman skill, which is um, to the northeast of all of this stuff. And um, I have, I'm much more familiar with this material. I've been working it for a long time. I really like it. It's uh, just call it green Norman skill, green and black Norman skill. This is black Norman skill. Really neat stuff. Uh, really, really tough. This is the stuff that sticks in trees with my with my bow, and most of the time don't break unless it has a defect in it somewhere. But um, I don't think I have many other examples right now. Um, tiny, tiny little Isopus point. And just uh, really experimenting with the local stuff here in the Northeast. Um, I did work a piece of uh, Georgetown. Just, you know, comparison. Pretty thin. Really nice. Um, this was actually gifted to me. This, this was a big flake. Um, and I just decided to work it down in between this stuff. Uh, I don't really have too much else here. I have, uh, some more Texas stuff that I messed around with. Really still like Texas. Texas is almost as tough. If it's raw Texas, it's almost as tough as the Canadian stuff here. And, uh, this is a little more likely to break if you hit something in the knees. But, um, the flakes show up better on these. <clears throat> Just figured I would go live for a little bit here, not very long. Just look at some of my things I've been messing with. Norman skill. Uh, I have this blade, which is kind of weird. Not really too sure what this material is. It naps really good, and it's glassy and, like, gray-blue with black splotches. That is, this is not Onondaga. And, uh, this is kind of from the mountains of New York. Super, super sharp. Uh, featured finding this stuff in, uh, one of the... Oh, man, one of the full movies. Um, I'll, I'll probably link that in after the fact here. And uh, I seem to have lost my flint ridge point. But I had a chunk of flint ridge crystal. And I managed to get a flake off of here that wasn't crazy damaged like that. And I made a nice little point from it. And that is also in another short uh, recent video. Yeah, I don't see it. The only thing I have left to show is another Texas point from a flake. Couldn't get the flakes to run across this dip, but it still makes a nice point, I think. I like it. Anyway, oh, just wanted to chime in here since I haven't been around so much. Let's see, do I have anything else at all? Let me see what else I have. In a second. Oh, okay. So, comparatively, this was made by Ken Wallace, uh, Paleo Man 52. And this is the Norman Scale chart. I wanted to show this in my video where he was talking at the museum, but I couldn't find it. 
and I just found it, and I'm still amazed at this piece of work. God, what the heck, man? That is amazing. And to be able to get the flakes to show up like that on Norman skill is a crazy feat. I'm very impressed with this thing. Look at that. And I do actually have something to uh, compare here that I can show. Um, I have these casts of Norman scale artifacts from the Sugarloaf site. Just for, you know, comparison of uh, ancient work and modern work, which is uh, really what I'm very interested in. This is a Norman scale fluted point. You could say kind of, kind of chunky, but very, very well made. Really amazed with this piece, and I'm really glad I got these casts. I think I'm going to be getting a lot more casts to uh, study and look at. I do have one more from the same site, from the Sugar Loaf site in Massachusetts. And this thing, if I could get it out of the bag is crazy. Jesus, flying everywhere. All right, look at this thing. So, it was found snapped. But look at that. So, what I see here is extremely high quality Norman scale. This is like really glossy, glassy stuff. This is the confusing point for me. It looks as if, in order to flute these, they're putting them in some kind of jig. Right there. And the jig slipped and shot a flake off that way. You could say it's a reverse flute from the corner up here. And that's what broke it, it looks like, to me. And there's this damage in here as well. But holy cow, guys, look at this thing. Wow. I don't often pull it out to look at it, so I'm kind of... Look at that. Norman Skill often does have that kind of crummy crud in it that uh, makes things hang up. You can see the flute on this side hung up right in that junk. But I would like to get... If they have at all, um, Onondaga casts of stuff like that. Because this is all I managed from New York stuff. Like, this is the best I managed from New York stuff. From Canada stuff, I was able to make something similar to this. Um, nowhere near as nice as that, but similar. But man, if anybody knows of, um... You think Impact Fracture? From hitting here? Hitting something? Like at an angle? Yeah, that's possible too. Just strange, man. I'm trying to see if there's any other sign of hitting something. Maybe a rib? The point was found, I think, in three pieces. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. I only see one crack here, though. There's some more of that damage. A crud. But really cool piece. Either way, impact damage is cooler to me because that means it hit something. What did this hit? Alright. That is about all I have available to show right now. Still crazy. That is crazy. I would love to make something like this. Alright guys, let me know what you think of this stuff. 
compared to this stuff. That's that's the main point of the video right now. I just wanted to really analyze this stuff and compare to Canadian. It's from the same 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 stuff pretty much, but it looks like different fossils. Different fossils here, different more limestone here apparently. But this stuff like I love this stuff. This stuff smells, this also, this stuff from Canada smells a lot stronger than the stuff from New York. The stuff from New York still smells like oil, but nothing like this stuff. You crack this stuff open, it almost burns your eyes. So, let me know right. if this is laggy at all. But I'm at a creek here. I got some of the rock I collected. Just a tiny bit. I'm gonna try it. My tools are kinda scattered all over the place here. Hold on a second. All right. I'll try this piece first. Looks kind of cracked and damaged here. Let's see what I could come up with. Wow, that's really, that piece is really damaged. All right, what else do I have? Let me try this stuff. This stuff seems more solid. See if I could get a nice big flake. Maybe not. There we go. It's kind of cracked. Let's see what I could get from it. Let me try another piece. It's got all kinds of freeze damage in there. Let's see what we can come up with with it. If anything. Bring your finds to the archaeology department. Which finds are you speaking of? Uh, artifacts? Yes, every artifact I find I bring um, right down to the museum. If I don't bring it, I uh, take pictures of it. This is going to be hard to nap something out of this. It's kind of cracked all over the place. Let's see if we could come up with anything at all. gonna be hard. This is not flaking too good. It's just kind of crumbling. Maybe this piece, maybe make a lamoca out of that.
This piece is flaking okay. Just still just kind of crumbling, man. Let's see. All right, got kind of a funky piece here. Let's see if I can indirect some of it. I want to um, stick an antler in a piece of wood. Uh, actually, they tell me to keep it. They just document it. They want to know the area that it was found, uh, what conditions it was found in, what I found, anything at all quite a few years actually and uh, they just they take pictures of it they take a 3d picture of it and then they put it in a database so I have not found a good solution for when I'm out here like this uh, doing indirect because it just kind of doesn't work as well sitting like this Now this is um Onondaga chart that I found in a creek. I'm not too used to this material. I'm still kind of learning. I don't want to hit it too hard and destroy the whole thing. How's the live going? Is it lagging at all? Is the video okay? Kind of right off a uh, highway here, doing this. Cool. So what I'm gonna do with this live, uh, if I successfully make a point at least, is uh, inserted into my main travel video that I am currently recording. I'm out kind of in the middle of nowhere recording right now. This taking off some nice flakes, like really nice flakes. You just gotta find a piece that isn't freeze damaged. crystally stuff in here too. Hmm. I have a tarp down right here. Collect all these flakes. Have fun, man. Have fun, man. I just finished rock hounding. I'm gonna try to make this point if I can. It's kind of really difficult at the moment. It's a lot of limestone in there at the tip. Yeah, I'm gonna make a kind of Lamoka because 
this material is not I'll have to dig down deeper into the rock to get something good. This will be good for a fast point though. Man, look at that. Ugh. Get rid of some of it, at least. Now I wonder if uh, the Lamoka points found were made in that style for this exact reason. It's just the way the rock wants to go. Kind of missing the messages a little bit. Let's see, how do I go back? All messages. The limestone section here doesn't want to flake. I'm going to have to hit harder. Took the tip off. This is not the best rock. It's worth it. It's going to be a little tiny thing when I'm finished. So what I was saying, uh, I get distracted a lot while I'm napping. I'm out in the, uh, the wild collecting rock. And uh, I just wanted to test some, so I came on live. It's working, but it's not that great. But it'll work for hunting. It'll work for napping. It's a good challenge. And... Uh, I'm just looking at places like this behind me here. Let's see. Working on a piece of melted and reformed glass. Can't seem to get it to flake all the way across. Uh, to get it to flake all the way across, your best bet is this, in my opinion. That's, uh, that's my... The way I do it. I really need to sharpen these tools up. kind of trying to thin it at the moment. It's not thinning too easy. There we go. Got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm always happy when I'm able to get something fairly good out of these points. Got a nice biface now. Got to thin it a little bit. Face is going to be a problem. I'm just lightly do this. Problem is that this rock is so tough. I'm really having to hit it hard. And when I really hit it hard, it keeps fracturing in weird places. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, let's see. I don't know if antler will do well on this unless it's sharp. Let's try to sharpen it up and Yeah, that works. So 
So as I said, I'm out in the woods and I hopped off the highway here. The highway's like right here, right up here. I saw this nice creek. I tried casting in here and uh, broke my line. And kind of, kind of in the middle of nowhere at the moment. I'm surprised I have. I'm surprised the live is working. I'm just really quick trying to do this. Kind of at a fishing hole here. I don't want any fishermen coming down and jumping in on the live because they like to do that. Oh, hey, what are you doing? You playing with rocks? <laughs> yep, here they come. Okay, so. That is, that is like excellent for a hunting point. I'm just gonna keep doing this even though there's people jumping down here. It's the risk you take with going live. I do want to show that this is good before I have to click out. I'm gonna do the base as quick as I can. Yeah, it's a really nice spot. I figured I would get a little meditation in here and nap a point. Just shaping up the base. Best point I've ever done. And I'm also rushing now to get this done. All right. Put some notches in it. Just super fast. Okay, so this stuff definitely works. Look at that. Perfect for a little hunting point. Looks like a lot of the artifacts I saw in a museum up that way, honestly made from the same material. It'll work. All right, so out of a piece of freeze crack stuff like that, managed a little point. And, uh, all right. Leah is right there. Hello. Here. She is enjoying the creek. I have the, I have my phone on a little uh, tripod right now. So give her a break from filming. She's been filming with this thing. Hold this thing in front of the camera. She's been using this to get a uh, wildlife wildlife shots. There was a cool looking cool looking bird here. She was being a silent ninja. She's always, she's always a silent ninja. <laughs> I guess. I have, uh, I have quite a bit of this stuff. And like, it's really, when you get into it, it's really good. If you got the time to slow down, which I do not right now, um, you could make some really, really excellent stuff. I don't think I have any examples, but here's a cleaner piece. You can see those colors and shine in it. You just got to get deeper into the spalls. And this will make a much nicer point than uh, what I just made. That's a really rough point. But 
there are artifacts found like that. So they did use, they did use stuff like this. But, uh, it's been a while since I checked in with everybody, so I just wanted to check in and hop on the live. Maybe answer some questions if anybody has any. do the same thing I'm, I'm recording the travel videos right now so I'm gonna clip this segment this live into a shortened version in the travel video so that people could see when when I'm collecting this stuff what you could make out of it um, I want to record uh, getting a really nice blade out of this stuff but that's not going to happen on live because there's just too many interruptions and uh, nervousness of fishermen coming over and be like, what are you doing? Why are you hitting stuff with antler? It looks weird. What's up, Timbite? Yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe to get this upcoming series. I got all new videos coming out. And... Uh, just comment on this stuff so it gets seen. I'm doing uh, I'm doing pretty good with that. Um, I'm averaging, after a few weeks, about a thousand views on all of the videos, with the exception of the napping videos. Surprising to me. Um, chips. All right. Thumbs up, folks. It's free. Yep. Yep, yep. And uh, if you're not subbed, sub. You get more videos like this. I hop on live kind of randomly. And uh, if you're not subbed, you won't get notified of that at all. You'll probably never even see it. Oh, yeah. Hit that bell icon. Yeah, there's also a bell icon somewhere that uh, you hit. And you hit all notifications. And then it'll alert you whenever I come on live or upload the travel videos, or even shorts, I believe. I've been doing some shorts here and there, just uh, showing what this stuff is capable of. All right, guys, I think I'm going to um, try to fish a little more and then get back on the road. I needed a break from driving. I'm exhausted. So I hope you guys are all having a good time. And uh, if I get a chance, I will hop on another live before this trip is over. And, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. See ya. Leah says bye. She's walking back to the car. So, I will see you guys soon. You have a good one. Go look for rocks. It's a nice day. Look at this. All right, guys. I'll see you all later. Have a good one.